Hey, what's up guys? My name is Alois, and in this video I'll show you how a pro player plays the Darius matchup. I'll cover everything I'm thinking about during my laning phase, such as wave states, jungle interaction and item purchases. Uh, if you like this type of content, please consider subscribing and leaving a like, and comment down below what matchup you would like to see next. Alright, let's dive into it. He is running Flash TP, which is quite um, uncommon for Darius players, but it still happens, right? So, so let's see. So, as you guys know by now, what I like to do whenever I can is get a late ward on enemy rep buff. So we get that down right here. Uh, and again, this allows me to see where enemy Joan is starting, right? So now I know my Kha'Zix is pathing bot, whereas enemy Joan is pathing top. Uh, this is generally speaking the hardest position for top laner to play in because enemy jungle will have or has a chance to be at, at the first four waves in top lane right whereas my jungle is pathing bot meaning that i am playing in isolation here potentially 1v2 so uh, i need to do something with my wave in order to prevent me from dying uh, to that pathing right um so now let's see another big thing that happens here doris is not at the wave level one he should be walking with the wave immediately trying to get priority right he doesn't here, and that gives me the opportunity to instantly start hitting the wave, which I, I will gladly take, because if I get the level 2 first, that obviously means that I will have the priority, um, right? And that gives me a bigger edge. You can basically win any losing matchup by getting your level 2 first, because ultimately it's a really big spike, right? So that's what I try and do here. Now, he walks up. I'm not sure if he has W or Q, so I'll be respecting him and, and trying to space it out a little bit, see what he started. And, and here I see that he opens up with his Q. So I space it, he has no Q right now, so I instantly look to, to get a heart trade. There we go. It's a perfect trade for me, he only has one potion, I'm running three. So I, I immediately feel very good in this matchup, right? Um, in the meantime, I also AOE the wave, so I get the priority. Um, now I need to space back a little bit, because his Q is coming back up, I don't have a Q, so I respect. And now my Q comes back up, so he has to respect, right? So there we go. And now I have priority over the wave. I'm just going to slow push it here. Um, and, and we still haven't spotted the, the Z, so he didn't do like a Raptor start, he, he is clearly pathing to top, so I, I'm aware of this. Uh, and because this is the case, I'll be looking to a second wave crash, uh, just be because I don't want to end up playing in this pocket when enemy jungle clear ends up coming to top lane, right? So I don't want to be stuck here on wave 3 or wave 4, I want to crash this and make it bounce back into me. So there we go. Uh, I'm gonna get my level 2 off of this minion, I know this, so I'm looking for a trade. Um, this minion ends up not dying here. If it died here, I also path back. I think, yeah, I just made a little bit of a mistake here. I think I could have done a better trade here. I know this is going to give me level 2. Uh, I should have just kept walking forward, getting the W and another auto attack off, right? Almost getting him into lethal range. Uh, but the idea was good here. Just the execution wasn't. Uh, I still AOE with the wave whilst doing so, securing my level 2 wave crash. All right, my bot lane dies, unfortunate. Z shows mid. I saw him with the blue buff as well. Uh, so I now know he's still coming topside, but at least his clear is delayed, right? Uh, with that in mind, I'm going to be contesting the third wave, uh, just because I know that the Z is not going to be here, and he has no more potions left. I have two potions left, so I can still allow to play. Uh, I'm still allowed to play aggressive. All right, so I'm looking to secure my level three. I start my Q delay, and I'm going to try and time a Q delay with my level three level up spike. So here I get my level second minion, second Q delay. He walks up for a last hit. On my third Q, perfectly delayed, only seven, six, six seconds cooldown, right? It's pr pretty much on six seconds cooldown right now. I proc his bone plating, and I'm instantly going to kite back, because right now I don't have my Q. I'm kiting back, he pulls me in, now it's only on a four second cooldown, right? So he auto Ws and presses Q. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna be looking to dash inwards, because if I dash in his Q, as you see right here, it doesn't give him, uh, give him another passive stack. Now I still have my W up. So I want to be using my, so I, I use my E to cancel his um, his Q uh, passive stack, and I'm going to be trying to use my W to cancel his auto attack, so he can't get another stack onto me, right? So here he's going to look to auto attack. I press my W, cancels auto, and now my Q is back up, and I actually win. So he never got his passive stack off on me. I use my E to dodge his uh, his Q stack. I use my W to cancel his auto attack and, and deny another stack. And since I've Q delayed and he pulled me in at the third delay. I get my Q back, securing me a kill. So very nice. Uh, I'm going to try and get the push in here. And he TP's back. Uh, but I got the wave in. I still need to try and guide it in a little bit, right? Because he has the chance to just freeze it here. So I'll be walking with him. Um, it's maybe a little bit flippy. Uh, but I know I can't really die here. So yeah, I, I get it in and that's very nice. So, okay. Good early lane. Uh, wave's going to be bouncing back into me. Happy day. So, uh, 800 gold purchase. Again, uh, me personally... There's, there's three options for this reset, right? So, first option could be Caulfields, second option is a Pickaxe, and third option is D-Blade plus 
a longsword, which is the purchase that I love the most. I think it is the strongest. It gives you almost the same AD as a pickaxe does, right? And then you get some extra health and some better landing stats. On top of that, I can also get a potion, right? Which is 100 extra health or maybe 150 after the nerf. I'm not sure what it is at right now, but I like that purchase a lot more. So yeah, I love this purchase. I'll go with this. Um, there we go. Wait for my second potion, get it as well. And now the wave is pretty big, so I have to let this crash. That's all good. Um, and now this Darius, right? He only had a cloth armor on his first reset. I don't spot him right here, so I'm also assuming he probably took a base. Um, so what am I going to do? I'm just going to hard push this as well and get another base too. So I get my call fields. Uh, same thing happens. Now this wave is slow pushing back into me again. Uh, my jungle is topside, so that's very nice for me. Um, and, and here I'll also be pinging my jungler to come and help top, right? Because this wave is bouncing into me. Uh, I think my Ra my Rakan was even topside as well. Uh, I'm getting sick soon. My Ignite is coming back. So this is a very nice window to look at. So uh, let's look at this trade pattern right here, right? And this is one of the few trade patterns that are the most consistent into these melee champions, such as Darius. Um, there's two uh, variations. You can do um, QW, EQ out like I did right here. So QW, EQ out. And as you see, I'm never in range to be hooked. He could, however, hook me. If he's really fast on the reaction right here, if he hooks right here, I do get uh, I do get tackled right, but I still have all my abilities up to get out, so it's not really that like uh, detrimental, right? Uh, alternatively, so let's look at this frame again. If I am standing um, right where this mean is at, right, so I'm basically in melee range, I could do w, w auto attack and then EQ out, resulting in the same um, way, um, and, and he can't hook me afterwards as well. Never do W auto attack plus a Q, just do W auto attack. EQ out, QW forward, EQ out, and I just proc his bone plating and do a little bit of poke, right? That's all I'm doing here. I obviously cannot beat him in a full straight all-in because he'll always get his passive. Um, so, so that's all I'm doing here, just trying to whittle him down a little bit. All right, so he walks back up. Uh, my Kha'Zix is here. I know I only need this cannon for level six, so that's what I'm trying to do here. I bait him in, he has no flash from the previous play, and he dies. Lovely, we get another kill, give it over to my Kha'Zix. Uh, I push out the wave. Um, and I think here, I, I'm sitting on 700 gold. I don't love my gold that much. Uh, I guess I could recall and maybe get like... I, what could I realistically get, right? And maybe I get like double longsword. I don't like my purchase that much. Uh, and because of that, I decide to stay. Um, I can't really play into him right now because I have no ignite, no ult. So I'm just, yeah, playing more on the backbone. Trying to see if I can get another opportunity to get a crash later on and get a better recall timer. So let's see. I get hooked in, but I have all my abilities, so it's not that scary. Um... Yeah, I, I think this, this like, my goal here at this point in the laning phase is to just not die, right, and, and wait for a better opportunity to recall. That's all. Uh, I don't really care about this too much. Uh, it pushes me in. It's all good. And, yeah, as you see, I'm, I'm playing quite reserved. Okay. So, I'm assuming he recalled here. Um, I'm gonna do the same thing, push out the wave. Uh, one thing you'll notice, I'm pushing the, ca uh, the cast waves first. The reason for this is because it actually pushes the wave faster, uh, how all the uh, and this is because of how the means uh, are targeted, right? Because as you can see, all these six means are targeted at their melee means. If I kill the casters first and then the melee means, they can just instantly run into the turret, which is the fastest way. So yeah, push it in. There we go. I take my reset, now I get a better uh, much better reset. And the wave is pushing into me again. Uh, which is nice, he decides to hard push it, that's okay. I catch it, uh, I get a little freeze on, because it was back in time. Oh, I decided to break the freeze here, I'm not sure why I do that. Uh, I think it was probably better to hold the freeze here, uh, but I suppose I end up pushing the wave and, and, and stopping the freeze. I think in hindsight, oh, he backed, okay, that's why I pushed it. I still think I could have frozen it um, in general. Okay, so now he, is have, or he has Tabis plus, what does he have? Let's check the tab here. I'm pressing it too fast. Okay, so it's Tabis, Ruby Crystal, and a Longsword, where I have Call Feud and a Whip. So we're relatively even on spikes, right? I have a little bit more gold, we're both level 8. Uh, but since he TP'd and, and got some extra gold spend, he, he, we're almost on equal terms right here. So let's see, W Auto, E. I think he could hook me here. He should have had the opportunity to hook me, right? Because I had no Q here. But as you can see, W Auto, now the EQ out. I would be out of range, I have no Q, he could have hooked me here, but I think if he hooks me, my Q will come back up and I might win. But it's okay, he decides to not hook me, he could have. So I'm Q delaying again. Q delay. And now I'll jump towards him. Okay, he doesn't fall for it. 
W auto EQ out, right? As you see, I'm continuously using this trade pattern every time to try and whittle them down. And this is the trade pattern that you guys also should be using. It's very hard for him to do anything against this. You see right here? W auto EQ out. I just struck him for 170 damage, right? But this is already very nice. So I Q the link again. And now I Q into him again. He uses his Q as well. I'm queuing into him. And he hooks me. It doesn't matter. He's already lost. And I just kill him. Straight up, right? Not hard. Q delay. My Q abilities are coming back up as well. I chunked him a little bit. His bone plating is down. He uses his Q as well. I get on top of him. And honestly, he's yeah, he's already a goner. There we go. That easy. There we go. That's the Darius matchup. His, his, his lane is over. Uh, I'm going to get my, my, my reset gold right. I'm going to get Gore Drinker. I'm going to get the plate. I am 92 against 79 CS. Lane phase is over here. All right. I hope I gave you guys some new insights on how to beat the Darius matchup. Uh, that's it for me. Peace.